Hey, what up? I'm DM Vegas Style, and I'm going to show you how to clear out your credential manager on both Windows 7 and Windows 8. Windows credential manager stores passwords from like websites or like Outlook Mail or Webmail. It does domain credentials. It could be your local PC password, and I'm going to show you how to clear it out just in case you keep on getting locked out for some reason because they're stored. And this is how you do it. Here we go. All right, so this is the Windows 7 version of how to clear your credential manager. So let's go ahead and go to the start button on the left hand bottom side. Click on start, go to control panel, and up in the right, in the little search bar, you're going to type in CRE. Okay, what you're going to see on the left hand side is you're going to see credential manager pop up. Click on it, and now you have all your stored credentials for automatic logon. Okay, so this could be like webmail, uh, websites, this could be your Windows credential, and this is how you clear it. So if you had anything, you would just click on the carrot on the right hand side, and then you click on remove. And that's how you do it for Windows 7. Here's Windows 8. Alright, so to go ahead and clear your credential manager, what you're going to want to do is go to your desktop and you can push Control escape to go there really fast. So here we go. Then you're going to want to move your mouse all the way to the bottom. Basically, what is the start button now? Click on it. Then you're going to go ahead and go to Control Panel. And then you're going to go to Credential Manager. All right, so Credential Manager holds all the passwords that you have. Like, for example, anything you have for webmail. Um, it can be any kind of credential for your domain. Uh, this is particularly useful, especially in a business type setting. But it works also for the home environment as well. So. You would all, all you would have to do to clear your credential manager is go ahead and click on the one that you want, click on the little carrot, and then there should be a little section that says remove. And that's it. <laughs>